What's up you guys, Thomas here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about a very important setting on iOS 14 that you should set immediately after you update. Let's get into it. All right, before I start the video, I just wanna say two things. Number one, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it and I didn't think I'd get there so fast. And honestly, just thank you guys so much. Number two, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed yet, my name is Thomas and I do all kinds of tech stuff. I cover everything Apple, cool software, cool apps, jailbreaking, feature reviews, all kinds of stuff. So go hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new awesome content. Anyway, let's discuss the setting I mentioned earlier. Okay, so basically if you open up a social media app like Facebook, you'll get this little notification that says, Facebook would like to find and connect the devices on your local network. Now, Instagram also does this, as well as some other apps, such as, I believe, Reddit and TikTok do this. Just, you need to click don't allow. Essentially, if you click OK, then it could lead to a serious breach of your privacy. Now, many have speculated that Facebook is using this feature. And by the way, Facebook owns Instagram. So that means Instagram would be doing the same thing. To essentially find and connect the devices near you, that also have Facebook or Instagram installed to suggest friends. This is probably why Facebook and Instagram friend suggestions are super accurate. But here's the deal. Do I really want my Facebook app figuring out who I'm hanging around with by connecting to other people's phones without my permission to find my mutual friends? No, in my opinion, that's a serious breach of privacy. Now, of course, Facebook denies this, but many people have speculated that they do this. And I have a feeling that they do do this. So in my opinion, you definitely just should not allow that unless you're okay with it. So I just thought I'd let you know that just ahead of time so that when you update to iOS 14 and get that pop up, you know that you should probably click don't allow. Alright guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in future videos. Have a great day. Bye.